Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching. We're in Silicon Valley all week, speaking with some of the best and brightest companies in the area. On our program is Kevin Kennedy, the SVP of Global Sales at Uyala. Uh, Kevin, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rich. Happy to be here. So uh, many people know Uyala is a uh, leader in uh, the video space. I was hoping you can give us more specifics on um, just like an overall description of what the company does. Sure. So Uyala uh, is a video te technology and platform and services company providing video to both media companies as well as to marketers on a global basis. We're uh, about closing in on 200 people, um, very well funded from venture capital companies as well as some strategic partners like Panasonic, Itochu, and Motorola. And we really provide an end-to-end -end video platform that helps companies manage, uh, and syndicate, and produce all their videos and then help them monetize that, their video content, through increased revenue, ad placement, as well as uh, helping a lot of consumer brands who can then use it to kind of monetize their content for uh, helping their customers buy more of their products. So uh, you mentioned a couple different categories there. There are mm -hmm. enterprises and then consumer brands. Uh, give me the list of all the potential customers so that someone's watching this video, they know that they're a candidate to, to benefit from your solutions. Sure. Well, actually, it's, uh, we would tell you that video is going to be pervasive for all types of companies and all types of industries. Uh, today, you know, we work with uh, the major media companies who are either in uh, TV, print, uh, online media companies, as well as with major brands in a variety of industries such as consumer goods, uh, high tech, and even healthcare. So it's really any company who's looking at using video to either, again, further their revenue, uh, to monetize the content that they have, or to help them uh, drive and sell more products or educate their consumers and their partners uh, to better utilize their products. Okay, so it's a pretty broad range, right? And then Extremely company broad. size is not really important. It's just if you're just looking to communicate, right? Absolutely. We, we work with some very small companies all, all the way up to, you know, the Fortune 100s. And what sorts of trends are happening in the market? You know, uh, 2011 has really been an exciting year. We've seen uh, just a massive kind of shift and change uh, over the previous years in the, the use of video. I think you're seeing the consumers are, are wanting to... Uh, use video whenever, wherever, on whatever device they want. And the companies are realizing that video is a strategic component of what they do. So, you know, obviously the media companies have a focus on video, but we're seeing a lot of the enterprises realizing that they can use video again. Um, when they use video on placement, Dell, one of our customers, uses video. Um, they started out using it for support to help reduce the number of support tickets they have on the support side of the business, they quickly realized they could use that over on the sales side of the business and they're finding that uh, customers who watch video buy more product and buy more often. So we're seeing uh, companies really starting to realize that video can be used in a variety of ways and I think we're just at the tipping point of that. And we're also then seeing the, the network, you know, moving from 3G to 4G, we're seeing bandwidth being an issue. You know, I always joke, uh, my daughter um, doesn't watch TV, doesn't know that it's programmed. She wants to watch it whenever, wherever, on whatever device. And I think that's, you know, that is finally come. You know, we've been talking about that for years, and I think we're finally getting to the point where that's a reality in the market. So a lot of people use YouTube. A lot of companies are using YouTube. And I'm wondering, uh, do they realize that when you use a third-party service like a YouTube that they lose control of the messaging and the advertising and that theoretically their competitor could be advertised? And do you, do you see that as a, an increasing challenge that will drive more companies to say, hey, I need to take control of where my video lives and who owns it? Yeah. At Uyala, we're seeing you know, a lot of companies um, not fully appreciating and understanding how to, how to use video and, and how to leverage that in their business. So it's, it is early days. but. What we're seeing is YouTube is, for us in some ways, is a great um, opportunity for us to talk to those companies because their, their first step is, well, let's put our video up on YouTube and let's get started. And, and to your point, Rich, what they quickly realize is they do lose control of the brand, uh, of how they want to customize and configure that. They, that. It tends to have a different look and feel than what they have for videos on their corporate sites. And quickly they, they come to the realization that YouTube is really a channel. 
it, it's not it's not a platform it's a channel for video and so for us we go in and we talk to those companies we talk about how you can have a single platform for all your video content a single look and feel customize and configure it to the way you want your brand to be represented and then publish it to a YouTube to a Facebook on your website on your partner sites and very quickly companies start to realize that's it that's the benefit and that's really where they need to be in the so end. some companies are still going to use YouTube even though they lose control because there's a there I mean there are benefits obviously there's search benefits you and others be, right? you want to be on YouTube it's a it's a large destination site but again it's a, it's a site or a channel and it has a lot of eyeballs but at the end of the day, it's not a platform. And that's what we see as the real difference. Excellent. Thanks so much for being here today. Oh, thank you very much, Rich.